Hello there. My name is David Arita, and I work on the 3D scanning team here at GoEngineer. In this brief video, I'm going to show how to use the Boolean mesh function inside of Geomagic Designing software, which is only available in the pro version of the software. Generally, with Boolean operations, we start with multiple meshes, where we can merge meshes, use a mesh to cut another one, or to intersect meshes. The context here is we have a scan of a toy, and we want to make two simple mold cavities to reproduce the part. The mold cavities could be machined or 3D printed. Let's check it out. In Design X, we don't directly model at the mesh level. What we can do is convert solid or surface bodies to meshes, then use the Boolean mesh command. So here we have a scan of a toy here. We're going to go ahead and create a cavity from this part. First, we're going to go ahead and do a sketch on the right plane. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the center rectangle tool and kind of eyeball center and click and drag out a rectangle that will be the size of our mold. From there, I'm going to exit the sketch and go ahead and extrude this as a solid body. I'm going to extrude it about three quarters of an inch to the left. That'll be the first side. And then from there, you can see we have a solid body and we have the mesh. So from here, I need to convert that solid body to a mesh to use the Boolean mesh function. So we're going to convert that to a mesh. Now we have two meshes and I'm going to go up and use my tool, my Boolean mesh tool here under tools and you go down to Boolean. And in this case, we're going to do a cut. So we're going to use the tool here, the, the part against the block. And we're going to keep the tool to use for the second side. So once that's done, you can see here, I'll turn things off and on so we can kind of view what we got. So that's the resulting cut of the toy against the block. So we're going to repeat that for the second side and we can see the result. So here you can see the result. We have two mold cavities and we added some locating features using the same Boolean mesh workflow. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.